You're listening to the American Democracy Minute, keeping your government by and for the people. We reported yesterday that a federal appeals court chose a fairer congressional redistricting map in Alabama, giving black voters a better shot at electing the candidates of their choice. Other states also have racial gerrymandering cases pending, but it's unclear whether the resolution in Alabama will translate to fairness in Louisiana and South Carolina. Louisiana's African-American population is even larger than Alabama's at 33%, yet it has only one congressional majority minority district out of six, 16.6%. In late September, two conservative U.S. Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals judges blocked further action on new fair maps. Democracy advocates immediately asked the U.S. Supreme Court for an emergency stay, but it's unclear whether Justice Samuel Alito, in charge of emergency stays, will grant that request or pass it on to the full court where Justice Brett Kavanaugh could reconsider his Milligan position. October 11th, oral arguments in a South Carolina case will be heard in the U.S. Supreme Court, raising even more concerns. The South Carolina legislature argues its congressional map is partisan gerrymandering, not racial gerrymandering. In 2019, the high court deemed partisan gerrymandering to be a state, not federal issue. If the court decides it was done for partisan reasons, it may greenlight more dilution of black voting power by state legislatures, just cloaked as partisan gerrymandering. We have more at AmericanDemocracyMinute.org. I'm Brian Beal.